Welcome to another episode of On Cue. My name is Lenny Lomote. Today, I'm excited about the guest we are having on On Cue, even though he's all the way in Nigeria. Now, thankfully, technology has made it possible. Is he a legend or he's not a legend? To me, he definitely is a legend. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, one day call. It's one day call. Mohit. On call, will you sign me? My voice is good enough for you to sign. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't lie to me because when I sing, people laugh. No, I'm not lying. I love your voice. Oh, Fine. please, please. I'll, I'll, Black Diamond. I, I will, you know, contact you so that we'll see how I can start. You know, I, I may have a lot to learn. I may have a lot to learn, but yeah. You have Thanks like for a joining. Years. Yes, a yes, 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 learn. definitely. I agree with I agree with you on that. Thanks for joining the conversation <laughs> this morning. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah. Well, it's afternoon um, in Nigeria. Nigeria is an hour ahead of Ghana, so it's still morning here. So, pardon me if I keep saying yeah. morning, even though for your reality okay. is, is afternoon. Good morning in, in, in Ghana. Good morning Good afternoon in Nigeria. In Nigeria, <laughs> yes, definitely. We are on the same page now. Now. It's been yes, 15 yes. years since your song, Bumper to Bumper. I mean, largely, that's how has some it, Ghanians... Has it been 15 years? Yes, it's been. <laughs> when, when did you release Bumper to Bumper? No, no, I feel old. As soon as you said 15 ah, years. Ah, like, right, oh, right, so right. I'm, I'm, yeah, <laughs> so that's largely, that's how Ghanians um, got to know you. Now, looking down 15 years, how, how has your... Um, Ghanaian audience uh, accepted you, you know, with all of your other releases? I mean, when I first, um, in 2010, I remember that I was the, the African Artist of the Year in Ghana mm -hmm. at the time. So, mm -hmm. um, and then um, I met, I know MTV Base took me to Ghana for Road to Mama, and mm -hmm. then I met um, R2Bs, and then I collaborated with them. And then, on you Kiss know, Your Hand. Since then... Yeah, so Kissy, and since then Ghana has been my family. Ghana has been like my my other my my, my other mother. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you know. So when I when I'm out there, people like really. And since then, you know, through our two Bs, you know, um, the likes of whiskey, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's just been a family between all of us. And since then, I've I've still been here. You know. Nice. Now take us back 15 years. What? have been some of, you know, the major changes or breakthroughs that have happened in Wandy Cole's life? I mean, you know, when we started, it was, it was, it was, about, uh, it was about Africa. It was about, you know, mm -hmm. living our dreams to become, mm -hmm. living our dreams to become um, great for ourselves and, mm -hmm. you know, put Africa on the map. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the dream. You know, at that right. time, for us, we were... We were before our time. We came before our time. Mm -hmm. The likes of me, uh, R2Bs, you know, the legends that came before me, mm -hmm. you know. But right now, I'm so happy that music is now global. Like, everybody listens to, like, Afrobeats. It's, yeah. it's just so funny that, you know, the world has, that has changed. Yeah. And now, music is one, you know. Regardless of where you're from, as long as the sound is good, anywhere from Africa, the sound is good, you know. We all, we all one, you know. Did you? And that's what, um. No, you go. Yeah. You go. And, and, and that's what, you know, I see that has changed uh -huh. over the time. Did you foresee this happening where music or Afrobeat or African music breaks boundaries beyond Africa? Did you see this coming? Yes. I mean, I always saw this coming, to be nice. honest. Yeah, because, you know, at the time that I started, first of all, it was reggae. You know, mm -hmm. it was reggae music, you know, and then, you know, my own dream was to see us in the international scene. Mm -hmm. That was my dream, you know, and, right. then, and, then, and then we're here now, you know, it can only be better. Now, much. It can only be better, definitely. That will lead me into asking. Nigerian music has seen, you know, um, two decades of different eras, right? We have um, different eras or different phases, right? Which era or which phase would you say you belong to and um, or has given you that <laughs> limelight? Um, um, I feel like um, I'm, 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 I'm old school and new school. You okay, know? now let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I mean, 
old school in the sense of, you know, I came at my young age, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, I was looking up to the likes of Two-Face, P-Square, you know, the international guys to, you know, and now I feel like, you know, to be able to collaborate with the new guys, mm -hmm. the new artists like you know it, it makes me feel happy like victory buju you know i mm -hmm. still feel young you know and yeah. i'm younger heart the music is younger heart mm -hmm. you know music has no boundaries has no has no um age limit you know it's just good music and you know as long as you you have the head space mm -hmm. to be around that era yeah. and this era you know that's the that that's it's it's it's, it's, it's a good thing i also At understand least it's a good thing yeah right i also understand that a lot of adaptation and change will go into this right you have to be willing and ready to be dynamic to be able to change with the times and to still stay relevant right can you share with us what some yes of, like i said yeah what some of your strategies have double. been over over the years that you have been front center and relevant what um have the strategies been to you know still be wonderful I mean, like I said, first of all, it's the headspace. Mm -hmm. It's where you are at the moment. If you are, if you always want to evolve your sound, like me, the reason why I'm still here is because I always want to be better than my last. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm always persistent and consistent. I want to be out there. Um, this is what I, I, I came to do. Like, right. this is my calling. This is my job. Right. So music for me is never going to stop because, you know, music never stops. Music, music never music stops. Music is right. forever. Okay. You know I mean? So the more you push yourself to the limit and say, you know what? I want to be able to show these people that I could do something new that, you know, is fresh in their ear and it sounds nice and they can dance and they can feel good. You know, that's how I always feel mm -hmm. every time I'm in the studio. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's how everybody should be. Right. Now, with what you've said, I now totally understand how you're, you're still on your grind, right? From Moorheads to Maven and yeah. then now Empire. How did Tina Davis get you onto Empire when, um, when that happened in 2020? Um, I was, I think I was in America. I got the call. First of all, they mm. sent like representatives to Nigeria. I was mm -hmm. just first like, you know what? Mm, okay, okay, you know. But, um, you know, she was very like she she believed in me. You know, that's a, that's a, that's the one thing. You know, mm -hmm. she believed in me. She pushed me. You know, and she just said, you know what? I believe that you know, you're 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 the godfather. Right. And you know, and, and every time she told me I was a godfather, I was just like, I right, cool. So I have to I had to play the role. Um, and you know, it's a it's a good look. That's that's. And that's, that's why I'm here. I'm right, here. <laughs> right. Let them know. Let them know. That is a title of one of the songs of yes. your forthcoming Legend or No Legend um, album, right? I yes. want you to just lead yeah. me into yeah. talking about the creative process, the ideation of Let Them Know. I also noticed, I'll get to that, but I noticed that you stated emphatically that all songs written by you but we'll get to that let's first talk about let them know yeah. and then we'll get to talking about all of the other songs as i well. mean i mean okay shout out to um kel p okay kel p is a very um multi-talented producer mm -hmm. extraordinaire slash slash singer um you know i've been working with kel p for a while and right and then one day i think we we, we booked a session um somewhere in VI, mm -hmm. and then I just walked in and I heard the beat, and I was just like, you know what? You know, what's, what's the title of this song going to be? And he was like, ah, I, let, let's just create something. And I just like, okay. You know, and, we, and then we walked on it. The idea was basically to, you know, to show that you can plan something for a girl that you like without even actually telling her. Okay. You know, that's, okay. that's it. You know. Okay. Now, I, I yeah, mentioned so Let Them about, know, you know because that's what you just recently released a video to, right? of the the album that's why i mentioned let them know however i also noticed that um you're calling the album i, mean, I already a dropped out hello when they call can you hear me yeah i can hear you now okay so i was saying that i noticed that let them know is what you are currently you recently released right is why i wanted us to have a conversation on that yeah but also i realized that you're calling the album a track list is there a reason what do you say 
Wonderful. Are yeah, you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, you said you realized that what? You are, you've called the, the album, right? When you dropped the, the album, you called it a track list. Now, Sakodi also the same with his um, Jams album where he called it a playlist. Are you leaving it at that or are you looking at it as an album? That's why I'm asking this. Can you hear me now? I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's an album. Okay. Um, I'm dropping my, it's an album coming out, yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about the name the of the album, album is Legend, Legend or, or No, no Legend. Legend. Exactly. Let's look at that. Yes. First of all, why that title, Legend or No Legend? And then we'll go into why you emphatically stated that all songs written by Wanda Cole. Um, first of all, let me first go back to uh, why I said all songs written by Wanda Cole. Okay. Um, everybody knows me, you know, from mm -hmm. time, like I've, I've, I've always written my records, you know. Mm -hmm. I've always like, you know, you know, but this time I I I had to I had to put this down because it's it's all about my struggle. Mm -hmm. It's all about my dedication into what I'm doing. Yeah. And, you know, so when people listen to the album, they're gonna understand. Um it's it's like it's like a phase. It's like different topics mm -hmm. and then I and I expand and I expanded, you know, on every topic of of of, of my of my career. You know, all the things that I've been through in my career. Mm -hmm. Also, legend or no legend. Um, so I was on, I was chilling in the studio one time and uh -huh. then on Twitter, people, uh, my phone started buzzing. And then I went on Twitter and I was like, which uh, song was that? Twitter? What's my name? You know. Huh? Which song was that? No, there was no song. Okay. I just, I just noticed on Twitter, my name was being mentioned. Right. Okay. So many times. So I went, so I went on Twitter and I said, I saw somebody say, you know, is it right to call one they call a legend? Mm -hmm. And then they turned into a problem. Some people started talking, some people started fighting. Uh -huh. So people, I was just like, you know what? Let me. I need to stop this, this ranting. I need to stop it. So I went there, and I said, and I put it, uh, and I tweeted, and I said, legend or no legend, mm -hmm. I just love making music, and that was it. Oh, you know, and that's where I got my 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 inspiration from. Right. Right. Now, it's been it's been 8 yeah. years since 2015 that you dropped your last album, Wanted, right? On this journey, have you have you still been at it? I mean, I I I want to also put myself in the shoes of those who were arguing. Now, mind you that some people even outside of Africa just make music once or twice and we still refer to them as legends, right? I am going to refer to you as a legend. No doubt, no cap. Right, but eight years in between wanted your last album in 2015 and legend or no legend now. What has kept you going in these eight years? And how have you handled it? I mean, since 2015, I've been dropping bangers. Um, every single is a banger. Mm -hmm. Um, like I, I dropped Iskaba after my album, mm -hmm. I dropped uh, My Woman. My woman, mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody knows that. Yeah, um, yeah. After that, I <laughs> dropped uh, Saw Me Saw. Uh -huh. Saw Me Saw. I've been dropping singles since then. Saw Me Saw. And then during the corona time, I dropped again. Again was global. Like, uh -huh. everybody in San Diego, that, that that's it. You know, and that's and that that corona time was was even... And, and then 2021, I came will come my way. So, you know, I've been in there regardless. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, for... 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 for that time, I, I I was using that time to work on the album, and you know, everything good takes time. You know, I agree. So in between those eight years, I've been dropping these bangers, and then now I'm dropping my album. Okay. Now, are there any people that you'd want to name drop, popular or not? People in your close knit circle who you'd want to mention as inspiration for also, you know, um, putting out this album now that it's ready. I mean, my whole team, um, Empire, definitely, mm -hmm. uh, the Black Diamond team, you know, because, you, know, you know, it takes a lot for people to believe you, you know, even um, after yeah. a long period of time. Um, shout out to everybody on the album, um, T-Pain, Olamide, um, Whiskey, Fireboy. Uh, shout out to all the producers, Kel P, uh, Dooney, uh, K-Dreams, Bruno. Uh, who's that? Hold up. I don't want to miss no name. <laughs> Bruno, Duny, uh, K Dreams, Kel P. You know what I mean? Right. So 
Uh, Your P has been mentioned twice already. P prime. <laughs> I got P prime. Okay. Yeah, I remember. I got P prime. Yes, yes. P prime. Now oh, come, yeah. come oh, the eighteenth. Come the 18th of May, Legend or No Legend is going to be served to the world. What are some promo plans yeah. that you have put in place for the album? Well, it's a surprise. You know, I'm not trying to, like, you know, gas nobody. I want them to listen to the album and they see me. Um, okay. Obviously, I'm having a lot of events. I'm having a lot of events mm -hmm. before, before the release. Um, a day before that, we're supposed to, you know, we're, we're, we're doing a party. Um, nice. Somewhere, and, you know, I wish you could come, but you know, it's somewhere. If you uh, book me a ticket and a place to sleep, uh, I, I'll I'll think about it. And my flights, take care <laughs> of everything. <laughs> you, should. you should, but yeah, um, there's a lot of things in place. Um, you know, I'm everywhere. You know, I'm everywhere. You know, so it's, it's you know, it's time for me to to actually show show up. Uh huh. <laughs> Show up and show out, which yeah. you, you are already showing us that you are ready to do um, and do harder, right, in 2023. So share with us some plans Definitely. of of what you want to do in 2023. Are we looking at a tour, a one-day call tour? Is that also in your plans? Let's talk. I mean, definitely. I mean, we're already getting calls, you know. Um, it's going to happen. You know, it's I don't gonna happen. Me, I know I, I just go with the flow. My team handles it. You know, I know that we, we're supposed to go out for um, a UK tour, an American mm -hmm. tour, Europe tour, African tour. OK, you know, so that's even happening immediately. I dropped the album. All right. Africa now first is, is, is Ghana. London. Oh, OK. Right. So you start from Africa. If I understand what yes. you're saying, you're going to start from Africa before you go out. That's nice. Exactly. That's nice. So I'm just going to assume that Ghana is definitely part of your list Ghana, of African countries. <laughs> yes, yes. Come, 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 come. I mean, it will be nostalgic having to see you and R2Bs, you know, get on stage and perform Kiss Your Hand again because Kiss Your Hand is still a banger. When it plays, you can't say you're not going to dance or sing to it. So I don't know who doesn't know the lyrics definitely. to Kiss Your Hand. I don't know who doesn't know the lyrics <laughs> to Kiss Your Hand. Yes. So outside the tour, what else are you, are you looking forward to for the year i mean I'm, I'm headlining my own i'm headlining my own concerts when will that be um sometime in december okay in nigeria i yes. guess okay yes in nigeria okay um you know yeah so that's major and and aside from that you know i'm still work, I'm, I'm i'm immediately going to work on the next album mm-hmm Oh, yes. so that you means know, that this, I'm going no. to the next project, you know. Right. I'm, I'm not not working. As soon as I'm doing it, that's work. Next thing this is, is my that, job. Just the way you sit that, down there interviewing how, me. That's your job. That's my job. Yeah, that's your job, definitely. But how would you want to space this out? Are we looking at quarterly or every six months or yearly? I mean, I mean, I mean, I will give it time. I'll take my time. Uh -huh. you know, as long as you know, it's the perfect time. You know. Yeah. You can never just rush. Yeah. You know things. You know that you want people to like you can't just rush it you know you mm. have to take your time right now before i let you off i appreciate the conversation but just let me into your thoughts on what nigeria's music space and music scene is like at this particular moment i mean i think it's 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 it's, it's upgraded you know mm. it's not the same system that we used to work back then now Music is is a is a lot of is a lot of uh, things combined, you know. Back then we just wanted to, you know, be popular. Now it's about be popular and still um, brand yourself, right? Market yourself, push yourself, um, promote yourself. Mm -hmm. You know that that's what I've noticed um, um, from that time to this time. A lot of people, you know, have a lot of it's it's, it's, it's a it's more like a company before you. You come out, you know, yeah. you must have a solid team, solid lawyers, you know, you know, everything has to be packaged well. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I love it right now because now we global and, and it's never going to stop because there are new talents coming every single day, you know, so we, we can only hope for the best. 
We can only hope for the best, definitely, and fingers crossed, we await the 18th of May where we get to digest Wonder Cole's Legend or No Legend album. It's been eight years. I'm sure that you are looking forward to it and are excited as much <laughs> as he has been excited creating this body of work and gifting it to the world. Wonder Cole, thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking time out thank to you. have this conversation with me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you when you come to Ghana. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. You too. Thank you, Ghana. I love you. We love Yay. you too, Wonderful. All right, guys. So that was on cue with Wonderful Legendary. I, I mean, let's 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 look back 15 years down. How old was I? Do you want to know? Well, I was really young then, and so having to have this conversation with Wonderful is actually great really really great i hope you enjoyed it and i'm definitely looking forward to when next wonder cool comes to ghana i wasn't joking about that out to be's performance we need it we need it we need it thank you my name is len lomote this has been on cue i'll catch you on the next one